How did you feel after one full season almost? I feel, I feel very good. I, I'm really happy. I explained this many times that, uh, you know, to come back uh, to a club that I love so much is really a privilege for me. And after so long time to live in my country, in my city. So um, I feel really very, very good. The fact that your season also was combined with the final four being back in Belgrade make it even more special. Yeah, okay. I believe that. Well, we deserved, you know, to be Final Four over here because I believe the old people are very satisfied because the organization is excellent. And, you know, over here I believe that everybody feels really very good. So I hope this is not last time to be over here, Final Four. Do you believe that uh, Belgrade should have the Final Four every year? I don't know, I will be happy if it happens something like that, you know, but uh, okay. The idea of EuroLeague is always to change the city and to give opportunity to many cities to be, you know, uh, fun for in... Uh, I don't know, they talk next year something that I heard lately that maybe will be in in Istanbul or after that in, in Bernabeu, new stadium, things like that. I don't know, this is a question, you know, for people in EuroLeague and however and wherever will be, I wish to be successful like it was over here in Belgrade. Do you feel that uh, Partizan is also ready to return to the EuroLeague? This is our biggest wish. We, we really believe that we have everything to be part of EuroLeague. First of all, we are the youngest team in, in, in Europe. This is obvious. So we have prospects in front of us. And uh, we will continue to believe in our players. And, uh, you know, if you come over here and watch the atmosphere that we have in our gym, I believe it's something special and it will be really very good also for your league. That Partizan will be part of, of your league. You have said that uh, whenever the season starts, you go back to your old notebook. You see w what was the first notes when you started your career and you got advice from Matsa Nikolic, your professors. Do you feel that uh, we really know all the answers and sometimes we are too afraid to face them? No, you know, I have more than enough experience. But the game of basketball, you, need, you know, is, is something very special that you need to think during the game and to react at the time. And this is the point. Everything that you prepare, it's okay, but if you don't have reaction do, during the game, is difficult and I tried always. I have excellent uh, staff. I have really very good assistant coaches that they help me in every moment. Of course, during the practice, but also during the game. Because, you know, I try to keep concentration. And I believe this is something that is very important for any coach. If you ask any coach in, in that level in your league, everybody will probably answer the same. So I'm someone that I try to understand what is the best for my team. I'm very different now that, let's say, day that I start to be coach and uh, any one of us have opportunity to improve in the life every day. So I'm not someone, you know, that I think I'm ready for everything and I know everything. No, it's far away from me. You know, you don't know everything, of course, but uh, do you feel that uh, you have something to say about the way that European basketball moves on? because this seems to be a very crucial summer. Yeah, I hope that everything will be really different than it was last year. There are a lot of, lot of problems. You know, we talk about calendar of competition. We talk about problem between EuroLeague and FIBA. I believe finally they need to sit to talk. We talk about problems that is inside of EuroLeague. Uh, some domestic competition also. So every, everywhere is uh, some kind of problem. And I hope that uh, definitely people need to sit to discuss about basketball we, because everybody of us, we love basketball. And to don't watch just our personal interest. This is the, the problem. We, 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 we don't need to be so selfish. We need to think what is the best for generally for basketball. And talking about this, the first thing and what is in my mind is health of the players. So they need to understand that they will have time to rest during the summer. Because with this 
number of the games playing in domestic leagues, Euro League or Euro Cup or any any kind of another competition. And after that to play for national team is very very tough. So no nobody care about them. Nobody care about them. It's very, very difficult. So if everybody, you know, in, in basketball generally, don't sit on the table, if they don't understand this, will be worse and worse. And I hope that finally we will find a solution to be good for for everybody who like basketball. One last personal question. Your son became a godfather. And he was he had Duda as a godfather. Do you feel uh, happy because uh, a circle is completed? If somebody pick up you to be a good father is, you know, to be comparison is something special. So, of course, I'm proud. I'm proud both of my kids, my daughter and my son. And only that I try to all the life to teach them is to to be correct and good, good people. Nothing else.